Hey, what's up my friends out there on YouTube? It's me, Elric Ferris, here once again in the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys yet another unboxing of a really cool product from the folks over at Thermaltake. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at their latest mechanical keyboard. This is their G unit. It's a large scale mechanical keyboard that has lots and lots of features. The box is right behind me right here. You guys can see it says ISS instant shift system. I'm imagining this is gonna allow you to change your macro keys. I don't know for sure, because like usual, I just got it doing the unboxing, but that's what it sounds like. Then it says gaming LED backlighting. That means basically you're gonna be able to change the backlighting on it, change the colors, 60 macro keys. And then it says that it has a thousand Hertz of polling race. Now, all these keyboards are known to have, you can hit all the keys all at the same time, in key roll over all that stuff. And that's the one thing about these mechanical keyboards that makes everybody want to buy them. Now, this one's going to come into market probably about $130, $140. They are pricey because they're mechanical and they're made really well. That said, let's jump in and let's do the unboxing and first look and see what the Mega G unit is all about. All right, everybody, here we got it. We got the TTE Sports by Thermaltake. This is the Mecha G unit mechanical gaming keyboard. So it has gaming speeds eight times quicker arm for battle. Actually, this thing's so fucking heavy that it's not only an arm for battle, you could use it as the fricking weapon because it's that heavy. Flip it around. Not much to the back of the box at all. Flip it around and show you guys thing. Just says you have normal mode, game mode switchable, instant profile switch so i was correct it has a profile switch so it means you can program it your buddy comes along he can reprogram it or even for different games there's available of usb ports and audio jacks and you have seven media hotkeys right here on the board which means you know you're all that stuff for like you know slow down rewind pause that stuff's all right here on the thing also got your WASD keys right here. And a lot of the other keys seem to be like they're able to be changed and color coded. That said, let's actually jump in the box. There's a little tab right here. Just gonna go ahead and pull the tab. Another tab. Open the top up. Here is a nice big case. This will be for you to take your keyboard if you wanna travel with it. Kind of how you uh, stow away your sword. You know, you stick your keyboard in there. It's your, it's your weapon carrier. Sling it over your back and off you go into battle. That's right. We do get a, a little bag right here. We'll see what's in it. And a little magic bag of tricks right here. You got going on in here. Ah, here we go. The power cable. So you guys can see it's modular. It's a modular gaming keyboard. You can take the little plug right there. Plug in the back of the keyboard, and there's your USB connection. No problem at all. That's that. We shall toss that like this. Oh, there's the keyboard, but wait. Here is the little thing you put your wrist on, your wrist pad holder right there. So I can open that up and pull that out for you folks back in there at the home office. This one's pretty thick. A lot of these things are just really thin. You guys can see there's actually a very thick wrist pad right here. Very tough, very thick. See here, I don't know, we're gonna have some drivers and stuff like that, so we'll get to that real quick before we go look at the keyboard. A lot of different stuff in here. Trying to open it up. Up, oh, there's a little tab again. Go ahead and pull this little tab in here. Kind of hard to do without ripping it. In fact, yeah, it seems to be impossible. I tried doing it, and uh, no, it's a no go. So, there we go. Here inside, pop that open. Got a sticker, two stickers actually. Black one and a white one, depending on what kind of case you're using on. TT Sports. The G Unit. Arm for battle, driver disc. And then the Mega G Unit instruction guide right here. It's all that stuff. And now we get to it. The keyboard. Dun, 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 dun. All right, kaboom. Right here's the connection. That's going to be for that USB cable we showed you earlier. Two USB cables right here you can plug in for your peripheral devices. You also have your mic and keyboard here. Pretty nice size keyboard, not too thick, not too thin. Show you guys the side view. Nice red stripe. The whole color theme while these Thermaltake products is the red and black. Show you guys that. Now, here's the keyboard itself. This little light up here, when we plug it in, that's going to light up. Now, there are a few things about this keyboard that are different than a normal keyboard. First of all, the control button is kind of a little bit small. 
and the question mark button's in a different place than most keyboards. Now, if you're a gamer, this probably is not going to mean jack shit to you, but if you do a lot of typing, this may be an issue. But everything else about this thing is very clickety. If you like the clickety clack mechanical keyboards, I prefer these type of keyboards. They have a much more natural feel to them. I feel they're more responsive. And for typing, I just, I don't know. I prefer them a thousand times over the regular old membrane type keyboards. Now, the last thing I want to do, folks, for you guys, is I want to take this plug over here that we talked about earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and actually plug it into my system. Currently, I have this keyboard. This is my Thermaltake normal mechanical gaming keyboard. I'm going to now unplug that one from the system. You guys can hear it. My system recognized that I unplugged it. I'm now going to plug this one in. You should love that, the magic of the force. You can hear all that whoosh. I'm now going to plug the keyboard in, like we said in the back here. Boom. The keyboard lights up. I don't know if this light lights up when you install drivers. Right now, I'm not getting into those. And actually, uh, you know, cameraman, go ahead and hit the light over there and dim the lights out. Let's just see what this thing looks like and see what it looks like in the dark. I guess this is what they were showing us earlier. All of these keys actually remain lit up for the entirety of when you're using it. Now we're seeing the TT light come on as well. So it came on and off. You can see it's kind of basically blinking. All right, folks, so you guys saw it here, and you guys saw it here first. This is the new Thermaltake TTE Sports. This is the new Mecha G-Unit Gaming Keyboard. You guys saw it. It's nice. It lights up. I mean, hey, if you like mechanical keyboards, it's going to be the shit. If you got a problem with where the control key is or where the memory function key is, you might want to look elsewhere. Me, I'm only using this for strictly gaming, so I could give a crap. But those are things I wanted to point them out. Thanks. See you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow today.